A glimpse of the future, the Coventry-based Manufacturing Technology Centre is already at the cutting edge of automotive technology. Now it's to play a key role in aerospace too. Oh, the Chancellor George Osborne was here today. The government's investing £30 million to create the aerospace centre. According to the man in charge, it'll mean even more jobs. In the three years that we've been here, we've grown to 275 employees. We think within the next three years we'll do at least the same in the new aerospace centre. Centres like this are effectively helping to take the risk out of inventing. Research and development costs are incredibly expensive and whether you're a small firm or a large multinational, if an invention doesn't work it can be quite costly and sometimes catastrophic. Funding from a scheme called Catapult ensures that that doesn't happen. It aims to bring businesses and universities closer together. It's an area where we've traditionally failed to exploit uh, uh, great inventions in the UK and have been lost overseas. The Catapult is about helping businesses grab those technologies and scale them up through into the commercial world. If we look at these two components, there's an aluminium component. And that's something that's already happening down the road at Warwick University. Here, the development of composite materials is helping to make cars lighter and much more fuel efficient. Companies like Jaguar Land Rover have already switched from steel to aluminium bodies on many models, saving around a third of the weight, but composite promises even more savings, possibly another 30 to 50 percent. Well, currently we do see composites being used in autosport and in the, very, in, in the supercar industry. But it's very, still very expensive. It's a very expensive raw material, very expensive to process. If we can make it cheaper and quicker to, to process, we'll start to see that in the average saloon. I think it's all about a British economy that builds its manufacturing base, a Britain that makes things again and doesn't just rely, as we did in the past, on the city of London, but actually invests in the whole country. And more investment here means that when it comes to things like automotive and aerospace, this region can continue to lead the way. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today, in Coventry.